Hello everyone, welcome to Shoe Voyage. Today we're going over the new Dior face powder. Back in the day, this was my favorite powder, so it's so nice they brought a new version back. Can't wait to try it on with you all. Haven't yet tried it, so let's jump in to see what we think. And I wanna go ahead and go over with you guys a couple of points when it comes to the Dior powder. One, I worked for the company for the second longest amount of my career. I think I worked for them for seven to eight years. Um, I worked for Chanel the longest, but I do know quite a bit about Dior products. And I find that they always end up relaunching products from the past, and this is one of them. So this is the Dior powder. Now back in the day, you guys, there was no powder like it. For those of you that know, you know. It came in this little blue compact, and one side of the puff had like a velvet texture, and the other was a spongy texture. It was the most creamy, beautiful powder ever. I have found nothing similar to that Dior powder, so I'm very excited today to see if this is similar to their old powder. So here we have it, the Dior Forever Natural Velvet Powder. Now I did pull up some information because I haven't even tried this powder on yet and I wanna see what it says so that we can make sure that it's doing what it says it will do. I'm so happy feeling the texture of the applicator in here. It does have this velvet-like texture and then it has the spongy part. So this is going to be beautiful for applying on top of makeup, the velvet side and then the spongy part is meant to be like a foundation it'll pick up your product and create more of a medium to full coverage the velvet side will create a softer more subtle finish it does state that the benefits are 24 hour flawless complexion no transfer ultra comfortable and light texture that lets the skin breathe a luminous matte finish quite the claim let's see so I have foundation on right now. Earlier I did a video showing the difference between the two Chanel foundations, the new Water Fresh Tint and the number one foundation. So on this side I have the number one foundation. On this side I have the Fresh Water Tint by Chanel, which I kept on purposely because I wanna see what it looks like on top of a kind of tinted moisturizer and then a full medium coverage foundation. Then I'm gonna take this side off and put it directly on the skin to see how it looks because this is meant to be a powder foundation. That said, I'm gonna go in first with the velvet texture side. I'm gonna put the velvet texture application side on the tinted moisture side. So I wanna keep it light because most people that want a tinted moisturizer on don't want a heavy feel, they want it to have a light application. So that's why I'm using the velvet side. It'll pick up less product than the sponge side. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing this motion. And the reason why is we don't want to clog a pore. We also don't wanna move the foundation around that we just placed onto the skin. And when you do this, it helps to create a kind of a blurred effect, especially around pores. It also helps to buff the skin, pick up any excess makeup that may be lying on the skin and sets it into place. It's giving that really beautiful, soft blur to the skin, especially around my pores. It feels feather light. This is just so beautiful. I'm so glad they brought this powder back. Let me know if any of you remember the original Dior powder that came in the compact that was half this size, it was like this. And if you guys liked it, because when they took it away, it was so upsetting for me and for a lot of people. They were like, no, it's the best powder ever. Um, and I'm so happy because this is very, very similar. In fact, it feels the same on the skin. I want to feel in the compact though. Yep, it has that buttery texture. It's like nothing you've ever felt before when it comes to a powder. Trust me, even if you guys just go to the store and feel the texture, you won't feel any powder that's like this. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and take the spongy side and do the same technique. Now, since I have a foundation on, it's already medium coverage. This is gonna make it more of a medium to full coverage at this point. And then I'm gonna bring it in so that you guys could see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in so you guys could see it up close. And then I'll take this side off so that you can see what it looks like directly on the skin as a foundation. going first with the spongy side which will give me more coverage just 
gonna tap this on. Now mind you, I just took my makeup off with a coconut hydrating cloth wipe, makeup remover wipe, <laughs> and I want to see what it looks like with no moisture, no primer. So obviously if you put moisturizer and primer, it's going to look better, but I just want to put it directly onto the skin and see what it feels like. Look at how beautiful this covers, you guys. This is so lovely. It feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing. I'm going to go in now with the velvet side. Go right on top for a second layer. Kind of like putting a foundation on and then putting a powder on, but I'm using a powder for the whole thing, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel and want to know what my favorite powders are that I use not only just on myself, but on clients often, I use the NARS Light Reflecting Powder, beautiful to be photographed in, or for touch-ups, very lightweight. Shantikai Blurring Powder, absolutely amazing. The Gucci Powder, brightening, beautiful, true medium to full coverage. And I love the Laura Mercier as well for photo shoots. For me personally, now that the Dior Velvet Powder is back, this is the one I'll be reaching for. Second place would be my Chantikai, and third would be Gucci and NARS. So there it is, the Dior Powder. I'm so glad that they brought out the original formula when it comes to the texture. I know they've reformulated it, but it feels just as good. In fact, a little better. It's lighter, it feels a bit creamier, and it's just gorgeous on the skin. I'm definitely going to be stocking up on different colors for my kit so that I can use this on clients. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do, comment down below. Happy to go over anything that has perked your interest or you just have a specific question that you wanna ask about makeup, always here for you. Now, if you guys want to support my channel, super easy to do. All you need to do is go ahead and subscribe. Use the affiliate links. Those help me to continue to buy product to do this channel, to share it with you guys information. And don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment. You guys know how much I love your comments and I appreciate them deeply. All right, everyone, as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.